Hello to all of my Scorpios and happy Sunday. You may be watching this video on Saturday, December the 9th, but this reading is for the 10th of December through the 10th of January. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you all. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you haven't had a chance to watch a video for Chiron, please go watch it. It's going to also just add another element of the healing process so that you can move forward, smoothly move right into this new phase, this new cycle of your lives, your lives, uh, Scorpio, let's do it. Here we have the Death Rebirth card. Here we have the Chariot card, the Hierophant card, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Wands, right? The Death card. This is your card, Death slash Rebirth. Here we also have the Chariot card. We also have the Hierophant card. We also have the Two of Swords. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the King of Wands, right? So, you know, there's somebody who is definitely watching you, Scorpio. And I'm talking to you, by the way, if you have Scorpio anywhere in your birth chart, I'm talking to the energy has already been cleared. I've already asked sorts of questions on your behalf. And when we look at your, your cards here, Source is saying, take off the blindfolds. Two of Swords. You see these birds right here? Source is like, your ancestors have been trying to tell you to move on from something. Like, take the high road. And like, okay, there's something that you've been feeling toxic about. Like, something unhealed about. Something that you've been repressing. Some kind of repressed emotions that has kept you in this grief state. This, this mourning stage. Being connected to people who are holier than thou being connected to this thing, right? And Source is saying it's time for you because you may have been behind the veil already to kind of sort of see that there's no such thing as a perfect human being. It's time to kind of sort of uh, broaden your own horizons. There's definitely energies that are watching you. These are energies that are ruthless, that are watching you to kind of sort of see, hmm, we want <clears throat> our their pride, no, not yours, but their pride, won't let them see kind of what you're doing. And this is where I always tell people like, you can't ride the fence with spirituality because spirituality came before religion. And the only reason I'm talking about that is because of the Hierophant card. Somebody has goddess or God energy. We're not talking about most high God, just so we're crystal clear. There is no human being on this planet that is another human being's God source. Most High God gave us dominion over all things of this earth except each other. So when you're talking about spirituality to people who have a hidden agenda about, you know, trying to control something, they're trying to they're trying to contain your water, right? They're trying to they're trying to project your their toxicity into your water. And while you are emotionally the smartest sign in the zodiac, Everybody, you only have one body. Like physically, you only have one body before people are trying to, the energy is trying to cause you to shape shift into something else. So be very careful with that because source is trying to take you to financial independence and you got some energies that are watching just like this right here. I don't know if you all ever saw, it was like quite a few videos on, um, on, um, on social media, this guy was, this guy was, uh, he was in this, uh, uncovered Jeep, right? You know, like the, the, the soft top Jeeps, but the cover was off. Right. And this lion comes, you know, like, you know, like a cat, they're cats. They, he comes tiptoeing up. All he had to do was launch, but see the video cut off before it launched. The guy didn't even, he didn't even hear the lion coming up on him. So whoever was holding the video or, or, you know, the whatever, hopefully they had something to kind of shoot the lion away before it got a chance to leap. But because they're so, because they're, they're able to, um, you know, he, he, this guy, this lion was so close to this guy, the video turned off. It's, it was a pretty popular video. It was like a reel, I think on Instagram, but that's how when you're, when you're, there are people who are sneaking up and watching you, they're watching your every move because something about their energy, their instinct, their animal instincts smells a, a change of your scent, right? So everything has a scent. When I talk about throat chakra, ear, nose, and throat. So when we talk about your throat chakra, we're talking about not just audible expression. It's also your ears, your spiritual ears, Right. What about your scent? Do you give off a scent of fear? Or do you give off a sense of faith? Or do you give off a scent of, hmm, I'm kind of in between and I'm leaving, leaning more towards my faith and source and I need to get away from people who operate in fear 
And that's, that's the thing that's, that's uh, controlling their emotions is fear. I'm afraid that people going to spill the beans about me. So I got to take out the enemy first. Like sources saying that your, your smell is changing and people are watching to see you got all of these great ideas. If you're riding the fence, that's what people are watching for. So pay attention to all of that. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. There's always initiation process. Okay, you go from this, you go from believing in this, now you believing in that. Let's see, we don't know, we got, we can trust you. We got to carefully vet you, so pay attention. Just like on a job, you know, your job puts you on a probationary period, causes you to uh, vet things. So pick a side, pick a side. You should always choose God, most high God. We're not talking about the other types of gods. You should always choose most high God. Even if, for instance, somebody decides, hmm, until I can, until I can kind of sort of sift through everything with source, I need to back away from some other things, at least do that, but make sure the communication you're sending out to the universe is not of confusion. Cause I'm, tr I'm telling you, you, you can't, when you're dealing with people who operate in animal instinct, yeah, in human form. They pick up on energy too. They pick up on that too. But also on the other side, when you're dealing with people who are highly spiritually gifted and they stand on their spiritual gifts, they're also picking that up too. So it, it's kind of a, to always go with most high God source is the win-win, right? So that you don't appear, you, you ride in the fence. Don't worry about offending anybody. Here we have the um, five and six is um, five and six is 11. So it's just saying, you know, when you're going through this rite of passage, that's what this six of source is all about. This is rite of passage energy right here. So it's the same when you're going through this rite of passage and you're going through your transition, it's better for you to say, I've rocked with God, most high God. And so I'm not, I'm not bound by religion. I'm not bound by what other people believe. It's just me and source, right? So I need to tap into that voice, the inner voice, right? So that's what source is trying to tell you, trying to tell somebody is like, look, it's better for you. People will respect you more if you if you go with God, like most high God, than riding the fence. We got enough fence riders out here. Here we also have the page of cups. And so source is definitely sending your new smile across your face, your face with something, right? Here we have the five of swords. Um, and so anybody who is basically um, trying to source wants you to get locked in and laser focused on your purpose because the five of swords is just like, like somebody looking back and keep replaying something over and over and over again. Oh, I've been playing this. I've been playing that. If it's a, if it's, um, uh, religion, let's say, uh, a temple or a church or a mosque or something that you belong to. And you feel like, okay, if I turn away from that, then I wonder how I'm going to be treated. Then, if you're moving in fear, people will be able to capitalize off of your fear. Um, you should be able to ask any organization that you're in questions about whatever, and they should be able to stand on it with whatever books that people are studying versus, oh, those people over there are just evil, right? Like I said before, looking at the cards here, sources say, here we have the King of Cups. This is you on your throne of emotions and sources sending you some fresh water. Here we have the page of uh, page of source page source page energy is youthful energy, right? So source is sending you some new information, but it's coming from source. Anybody that's angry that you're moving on from something, you got to question what's the anger? What's the motive for their anger? Why are you so angry that I need to move on from something? You got to question motive, right? Um, People dip in and out of tarot all the time, right? So sometimes people will say, but there's no reason for any tarot card reader or light worker to get upset because you've decided to move on. No more so than other people who are getting upset because you decide to move on some kind of from religious beliefs. Because if it's if if everybody is talking about the most high God, that's what everybody should at least agree on that. Should agree on that. So source is saying here's the knight of swords energy. Get locked in and laser focused on your purpose here on this planet. Locked in. Locked in and laser focused on the reason why you're here. Because with Source, you're trying to bring somebody into a new level of understanding about things where you'll be able to stand on whatever your belief system is, right? Whatever yours is. Um, because a lot of people, like I said, you gotta under you gotta see what people's motives are. Why why somebody's so 
hell bent on demonizing one thing when everything in human form can be demonized, right? There's a light and dark side to all energy, right? So, um, source is saying this is a person who is ambitious, someone who is action oriented, someone who is driven to succeed, someone who is, uh, fast thinking. But when you're around people who are restless, unfocused, impulsive, and burned out, they get easily frustrated. So they would be frustrated if you decided, hmm, I need to stay away from certain people, places, and things. Again, not everybody's upset because you try to make a decision. You got to go in and talk to source directly, most high God source directly. You don't even have to overthink certain things. Like I said before, your loyalty should always be to source and the purpose for why you're here on this planet, not necessarily to another human being, especially if they are trying to, if they, if whoever it is, person, place, or thing, think of the organization, even if they are um, trying to, they're trying to dim someone else's light to shine brighter. The brightest star is source, right? The sun, right? That's the, that's the brightest star. So here we have the hangwoman. Here we have the two of wands, the five of cups, the two of swords, the knight of swords, and also the nine of wands, right? So source is saying, look, hang in there, learn how to discipline yourself. If you feel like, okay, I'm not clear about anything. I got all these messages coming through. Source is saying, go directly to source for answers. That's what you're going to, most high God. Go directly to God for answers. Here we have the nine of wands. Somebody is definitely coming out of a long and arduous journey. Nine is the death rebirth number. And so somebody is coming through a long journey and their spiritual journey and just kind of like worn out of just like feeling lost. I'm not really sure what to believe, who to believe, believe most high God. <laughs> Believe most high God, tarot is not going away. Churches aren't going away. Mosques, temples aren't going away. They're not going anywhere. Um, witchcraft isn't going anywhere. The light and dark side of things are not going anywhere. As long as this planet earth is still, <laughs> is still earthing, right? So source is saying move forward. Here we have two of wands. You have the whole world in front of you. And two and nine is 11. 11 is a master number. Um, but again, Source wants you to stay away from speaking negatively about anything or anybody as you're on your journey of just learning. So that will require some going in time. I need to talk to Source, Most High God, about my own journey of learning and understanding. I need to take that kind of action to talk to Source instead of sitting around lamenting over spilled water, spilled emotions, something, something try to steal my joy, something try to take away my adaptability, something question my sexuality, something question my sensuality or my adaptability. Like source is saying to you, go to source, the living water, right? The living water, right? Because the truth of the matter is we got the, um, night of source coming out here twice. Source is saying, look, you got two and six is eight, eight and five is 13, one and three is four, and four is an earthly number, right? So we got these two nights right here. We got, um, this is really about relationship with source when it really boils down to it. That's what I'm talking, telling you. We add all of this up and subtract these night, these two nights right here. It's going to boil down to your relationship with source two, the number two, that's really what it boils down to. So you don't have to demonize anybody. This is number two of swords right here. Source says, take your blindfolds off, take your blindfolds off. You already have enough people out here demonizing other people's belief systems and source is saying to you, but what do you believe? What do you believe? Anybody who really wants you to have a relationship with most high God will not be a, be mad if you left their church. They wouldn't be let mad if you left their, they wouldn't demonize you if you left their church. They wouldn't accuse you of church hopping or, oh, you lost and confused. What is the motive? They wouldn't demonize you if you left a mosque or if you left a temple or if you decided, hey, I want to learn how, learn more about the divine masculine, divine feminine side of things. You're really increasing your wisdom and knowledge. Some people see it as a game for you to stay in this fight mode all the time. They see it as funny. They see you, the, your internal battle and your internal struggle of your mind, which is the only way that the enemy can come in. So source is saying, go directly to source, most high God. There it is. 
Anybody who is team Most High God wants you to win, whether you win it with them or you win it with somebody else. The ultimate goal is to see you win. That's it. So I see you having financial independence, and that may be the reason why some people are playing these silly games with you and um, um, you're going through so much grieving and mourning is because people don't want you to be, they want you to be in secret with whatever it is. So... So it's just saying, yeah, you're going through a rite of passage right now, and um, you're going through a transition. That's what this Six of Swords is all about. That's what this Six of Swords is about. So six, we got Two of Swords and Two of Swords here. Six and four is ten. Ten is the number for instant manifestation. This entire cycle has been about communication. What energy are you communicating to the universe and what's coming back to you? And so this should be communication of forgiveness of self for being um, so fixated on your only like one way of getting to your joy and your creativity, your sexuality, and your sensuality and those kind of things that so many people demonize. But sources said, I'm bringing you into a newer level of understanding. Here we have the three of wands. Here we have the eight of, uh, the eight of spades. We have the ace, the ace of hearts. The king of spades, we also have the ace of spades, and we also have the seven of spades. Yep, seven of spades. So here we have the three of wands. Source wants you to take a leap of faith and talk directly to source. Here we have the ace of hearts right here. And so source really wants you at this point to really cover your emotion. I mean, really cover, excuse me, really wants you to cover your creativity, cover yourself, right? Like it's like covering your water. So if you got a big cup of water, you don't want to spill it all over the place. And you don't want to sit in there too long where it's just evaporating because you're sitting there checked out somewhere in your mind, overthinking something. Source is saying to you, it's time to put flush out the toxicity within. Do a deep spiritual cleansing. Whatever that looks like, do a deep spiritual cleansing, a renewal of your mind, right? So in some religions, people will call it a cleansing, a baptism, a rebirth, reborn. You're born again, right? And other alternative healing methods is you cleansing out. You're listening to chakra cleansing music. Whatever you feel like you need to do to cleanse. Some people go swimming in the ocean. Some people go swimming. Some people drink more water. Some people do fast, right? All kinds of stuff. But this is where you go in and you talk to source. You don't just let something swim around in your head until you're like, okay, I don't understand. I'm so confused. I'm not really sure what. Okay, we know the author of confusion is the devil, right? Which is not somebody in a in a with a pitchfork and a red suit, right? It's just a it's a and, and, and while you're at it, get yourself a metaphysical dictionary. Here we also have the um, all of the spade is overthinking. Here we have the eight of space. Somebody's almost like they're imprisoned in their mind. They're about to go into self-sabotage with so much overthinking. We also have the king of swords right here. So you're you're highly intelligent and you're very, very wise about a lot of things, Scorpio. But sources say you don't need to overthink this. It's time for you. Source is already rewarding you, you know. Source is saying, hang in there with yourself. Hang in there with yourself. You feel like you're suspended in time. Like when, when, when am I going to get answers? Good. That's a great question to ask most high God. When am I going to get answers, God? Can you explain it to me in a way that I would understand? No other Scorpio on the planet, but me. Please help me to understand what I'm not seeing here. We also have the seven of source. Source wants you to move on from something that when you think about certain people, places and things, your vibrations go very low. Your conversation gets very low. Your thoughts get very low about it. You start engaging in these word, thought, or deed that when you think about it, it's like, I'm not proud of myself for thinking those things. Source wants you to move away from that. And that's what this rite of passage, this transition, you have a lot of ancestors around you that's helping you move you through some things. So congratulations. We also have the ace of spades again. This is about motive. Why does this in particular source get me grind my gears to this extent? What is it source? What is it? Help me with my own ego. Help me with my own demon source. Help me, help me, help me. So that's what I'm saying for you all. So I'm going to give you the questions for the moon and Sagittarius. But like I said, you have a lot of guardian angels that's watching over you, telling you that, hey, things are going to be okay. I see financial independence for you. And it's not just about financial independence, but there's some things that, here we also have the five of pentacles, the king of pentacles, eight of cups, the world card. We have the ten of wands and also the knight of swords. Um, 
Here we have the five of pentacles, right? So five of pentacles is about emotional wounding. So sources say emotions, we're talking about water, right? Down, what are you watering those seeds? sensuality sexuality what is it that's got somebody head kind of sort of slumped over like this is it your sensuality is your sexuality who has cut into your joy um is it is it the overthinking is it the negative thinking about stuff that's cut into your joy what is cut into your adaptability for you to move the way that you used to moving what has done that so this is a time to talk to source because this is where this is ultimately what's in your vault door the key to the vault door and the vault door by the way is a portal is what would make your life richer See, for a person that has all the money in the world, they feel like, oh, hey, I don't need any more money. I'm good where I am. I'm good. My kids are good. For them, it could be a wealth of peace of mind. It could be peace. It could be patience. It could be tenacity. It could be, um, uh, it could be stability. It could be security. It could be loyalty. So like a person who has a whole lot of money already may say, it sure would be nice if I had loyalty around me. I'm so sick of being betrayed, right? That could be something that's behind your vault door. So the, the key would be the opposite of emotional wounding. It would be emotional healing, dealing with those repressed emotions. So when I created that video for Chiron, Please go back and watch it. C H I R O N Chiron. Watch that video. Find out where what sign your uh, what Chiron is in, so that somebody can say, "I need to move on." I do see somebody saying, "I do see somebody um, physically moving." Like I see somebody like packing up their stuff and physically moving. That's what I'm seeing for you so far. Like I said, you have the whole world in front of you, and sources and a lot of opportunities are coming across your path. But it's time to throw away the negative thinking about things and it's time to expand your mind and do some sunbathing. That's how you're going to recharge. This is fire and this is fire. You should say, I'm tossing all my negative thoughts about something. I'm freeing myself and I'm doing some cleansing, some sunbathing. I'm stepping into my purpose, like really stepping into my life purpose with no secrets, no nothing. I'm just, I am who I am, whatever that means. But I've already been around this, us around circles, around and around and around and around and around. And this death rebirth is like I'm walking into my rebirth. Um, somebody definitely wants to be married. Somebody definitely wants to, you know, expand their spiritual knowledge. And that's what Source is saying. It's like hang in there with yourselves. You know, all this overthinking, it should be some action. Action could be prayer, but also being in that feminine energy of meditating, right? Action could be fasting. Action could be going, going to the pool. Action could be telling everybody I'm shutting my calendar down. I need to spend some time with just me and most high God, whatever it is. And anybody who is committed to being nervous about your spiritual growth, they got to go. They're going to they gonna eventually continue. God is going to keep, keep exposing them anyway. So here we have Knight of Swords came out again. Knight of Swords came out three times. I'm telling you, I do see somebody physically moving on. I see somebody physically moving on. And then we have the Eight of Cups, which lets me know that somebody has a lot of um, cr um, creativity. Somebody is very, very creative. And um, and so Source is saying, you're going to be using that creativity where you're, wherever it is you're going. Whatever it is you're going, you're going to be using your creativity. So um, like I said, Knight of Swords came out three times for a reason. This card came out more than any other time. Source is saying, hey, look. <laughs> Get away from people who are restless, people who are not focused, people who not focused on their purpose, just so we're clear. They're impulsive and they are burned out and they're looking to just burn other people. Sources like get away from those types of people. Get that kind of stuff out of your mind because Night of, Night of Swords is really about a person who is ambitious, someone who is action oriented. Someone who is driven to succeed. Someone who is fast thinking. So something has been happening where, like I said before, because this is too much overthinking here in the cars. And sources saying, hey, something has definitely caused some kind of emotional wounding. And it could have been something from, you know, uh, somebody could have been married to somebody in the past or thought about marrying somebody in the past or marrying somebody in the future, whether it's marriage and business or whatever. And somebody could be bitter and that could have caused some emotional wounding for you that somebody is mad that you didn't marry them or date them or wasn't interested in them or vice versa, whatever it is. <laughs> Or you could be the person that's bitter because somebody did. Whatever it is, whether it's in business or romantically, 
or you're dealing with somebody, you're connected to somebody who is bitter as far as their marriage or whatever it is. So it's just saying, get away from those types of energies, flush that out of your system. So that doesn't become you, right? Our bodies are made up of a large percentage of water. And, um, sources saying, you know, don't let, all you need is a little tiny, you know, mustard seed of contamination, just like you need a mustard seed of faith, right? So you just, whatever, it's light and dark to all energy. All you need is a tad bit of their contamination in your water to mess up all of your, your fresh water. So sources saying it's time to dump all of their, whoever they are, toxicity out of your system so you can move on. Here we have 19. I am a pioneer. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and you're in your work and in your work and you aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life that you desire. Mm -hmm. Again, here we have one and nine sources saying to you, your words are going to determine your reality. Your words are going to uh, determine your reality. Source is the one that's saying that, that, that number 10, 1 and 9 is 10, obviously. 10 is the number for instant manifestation. So here are your questions for the moon and Sagittarius. Here's your question for the moon and Sagittarius. First question, uh, Scorpios, is what is your heart yearning to learn and do? Second question is where do you want to be in 5 to 10 years? Third question is what are the main challenges on your path to your envisioned future? Fourth question is... Are there ways to solidify your foundation for taking off, perhaps saving money so that you can leave your job or learning a new skill? And then last is, are you on your path? Are you on your path? It is, um, when I look at this right here, it is, uh, people have definitely been benefiting off of your intellect. And let's see, your intellect, your creativity, and your spiritual journey. And what's behind that vault door, what Source is actually offering, and when we're talking about death rebirth, is an even greater reward, you know, for somebody. When you come from behind this kind of sort of this veil of secrecy, like I got to keep everything close to the... Co and of course, whatever, however you move on, you got a lot of ancestors to support you. So when I look at this... Um, all the things that people have been trying to take from you, Source is about to reward you right in some people's faces. So, like I said, you know, whoever it is that whoever it is that you somebody could be connected to, and this has been a lot of messages coming through. I hope that somebody goes straight to Source for answers because that's the only one that really, really has all the answers. Even light workers just shine a light to okay, you're headed in the right direction. But because we are not your God, we can't tell you exactly what God is telling. Only you know how you receive it. These are general readings, so take only what resonates with you. So that's what's pointing you right back to source. That is what I have for you, Scorpios. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.